Hey guys, it's Eric here with ProfessionalPowerToolGuide.com. Today we're going to go over a nailer. Um, this one is by DeWalt. The model number on this one is D51256. This is a 16 gauge nailer that you can pick up at TylerTool.com. Um, go ahead and take a look at Tyler Tool if you're looking for. They have framing nailers, brad nailers, finish nailers, and more. Um, again, this one, this is a recondition. This is kind of an old school model uh, DeWalt um, nailer on here. Again, it's a 16 inch, uh, 16 gauge nailer. It accepts nails from uh, one and a quarter inch to two and a half inches. A couple nice things to note about: it has a rear loading system on there to put the nails on there. Put the nails in there. Very easy to work with. It has a tool belt clip, so you can pop it on your uh, tool belt. So when you're when you're done with it, or if you got to work with it up on a roof, you can pop it right on you, and you still have easy access to it. It does have two forms. It has a sequential trigger, which is basically push down, pull the trigger. Constantly doing that. You also can change this over to a bump trigger, which is very easy to do, which we'll show you. And that's just holding the trigger down and bump. Go ahead, you can hit it right in. And we'll show you how to use them all. A couple other things to note about is the uh, air release with the exhaust. It has a 360 degree swivel, so if you're using your right hand, you can point it away and you're not going to be the air is not going to be exhausting right into your face or right onto you. Again, if you're using left hand, go ahead and change it away from you. So it's very nice, very easy to work with. If you do get a jam or something along that line, we did use this a lot. We didn't really have any jams whatsoever on it. But if you do, as a toolless uh, system, very easy access, very easy to work with. You can clear the jam very easy. It has no marring on there, so you don't have to worry about leaving scuffs or anything behind on there, too. And then, right underneath the trigger, it's kind of a ratcheting system that allows you to adjust the depth. And what's nice is that we use it a lot, and once you have it in place, you don't really have to adjust it anymore. You don't. It's not like after you're using it after, you know, 50 nails, you have to go in, and all of a sudden it's not uh, getting the right depth anymore. It's pretty much uh, constant. You know, one thing to note, you'll probably, when we're doing the review, you'll hear the compressor kick on. We're only using a little two-gallon uh, compressor for this. But let's go ahead and uh, see it in action. So again, it's rear loading, very easy to use. You can lock it into place. And you can just pop the nails right in there. and you're good to go. You can see on there. Again, this is a sequential one. We'll show you it. All we're going to do is put a little piece of trim on a 2x4 and something into um, just show you in a piece of landscape timber on there also. We like if you are getting one, spend a couple extra dollars, get a swiveling uh, head at the end. Just allows you a little bit more freedom with the hose and that's pretty much about it. So we're going to go ahead and hook it up to air and we'll go ahead and Again, show it right now. The gray indicates that you have a sequential trigger on there which and then the black is the bump. We'll show you both. Right now we're just all we're gonna do is show you the ratcheting system, how high you can leave it and very easy to adjust with. So right now we have it so it's gonna leave it about a sixteenth of an inch off of uh, your work. So again, very like any nailer, just pop it down, pull the trigger. So it stays up about a sixteenth of an inch to maybe an eighth of an inch. If you want to sink them deeper, go all the way to the right. And again, you can do it anywhere in between, so you can really get fine adjustments on here. And then you can go ahead and drop it on there. You can see, puts it down about a good quarter of an inch, almost below the wood on there. So there's a lot of room to work with, depending upon what type of material, how hard a material you're working with. So it's nice because there's fine adjustments on here. You can see how long it took me to get from the top to the low. Um, so very easy to work with and very easy to adjust. You know, again, anytime you're using this, you always want to use safety glasses. We're just going to show you a piece of trim going in a 2x4. And again, you always want to do, again, we're showing you with scrap wood. You always want to test, test it out on scrap wood before you actually uh, work on your finished product. So you can see, obviously on this it went pretty deep on there. But that's actually a good depth on there. If we want to, 
raise it up a little bit. Now you can see the nail head. And this one you can't see, it's down pretty deep. This one you can start to see it, which is good. So it'll allow you to put a nice filler in there and finish it off so it's a nice smooth look when you're done. Um, again, we use this on a lot of different different uh, things. We were actually using it to uh, put trim up behind. It was like it was a little bit of a brick wall on there. So we did bend a couple nails. It was very easy to use the uh, keyless or the toolless uh, clearing system, so you could take take out uh, any jammed or bent nails on there. Very easy to work with. So let's go ahead and we'll pop on the bump trigger so you can see this in action. Again with the sequential, you got to push down, pull. Black indicates that you're using a bump trigger, gray sequential trigger. Very easy to work with, very easy to change. All you got to do, pop it right out, your trigger comes out and you can put your new trigger in there, your bump trigger in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll load this in. That's it. That's how easy it is to change the trigger. You can see your safety's uh, located right here. Very easy to use. So let's go ahead and check out the bump trigger. One thing too, anytime you're messing with either a jammed nail or changing anything or working with it, always disconnect the air. So let's go ahead and we'll connect the air and show it to you. Reattach the air and again we have the swivel on here which makes it nice. So. Again, with the sequential, you actually have to push down and pull the trigger, which you can with the bump too. But the nice thing with the bump is you just you can hold the trigger in and just pop them right in there. So you can see, very easy to work with. Everything about this tool is nice and easy. You like the rear loading in there, tool free uh, jam, so you don't have to mess with any type of tools. Everything about it actually fits real nice in the hand too. So, and believe it or not, you really think that this would be front heavy because of uh, it seems like a lot of the weights here. But there's actually good distribution along here, so it's not too heavy. Actually, this only weighs about 3.6 pounds, but the balance on here is very nice. So it's one of the tools whether you're working, you know, straight up, working down on something, or however you're working, you're not going to get a lot of wear and tear on your arm at the end of the day. So overall, we really like this DeWalt nailer. Um, again, you can pick this up at TylerTool.com. If you're looking for a finished nailer or a framer nailer or a brad nailer, take a look at TylerTool.com.